Hi, this is Matt Welsh with Spiritual Media Blog, and today I'm here with Kate Nelligan. Kate is an equine-assisted and life and career coach and also the founder of Synergy TV. Kate, thanks so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So to get started, you know, for those who might not be familiar with equine assisted coaching and therapy, could you describe what that is and how that helps people? Sure. Equine assisted therapy is typically a therapeutic approach um, run usually by a mental health professional with uh, that incorporates horses into their practice and coaching is really uh, a life coach that incorporates horses and so what has happened in the mental health and personal growth movement is that really um i'd say smart advanced professionals have understood the power of the horse to help clients heal and so they found that bringing the horse into a session actually has a client go deeper there are greater changes and it really takes just a typical whether it's a call or an in-person meeting through a therapist or through a coach to a much more embodied approach because you're actually doing things with a horse in a kinesthetic learning experience so it is a a more holistic approach of mind-body-spirit yeah, I mean, that sounds great. And I'm also curious now when you say it's a more hands on, like, are the clients, are they interacting with the horse or do they just, or are you just conducting the session in front of a horse? Yeah, what typically happens is the horse is actually a partner. So there, there's lots of ways they say equine facilitated, equine assisted. In many ways, for me, it's really about equine partnered growth and learning. So the horse is a very important uh, therapist and coach along with the human. So the client is really there to interact in a way where they are touching the horse, they're interacting with the horse the whole time. Um, If they start to process any emotion or they need to kind of have a conversation with the coach or therapist in the human form, that can kind of um, go off to the side. But yeah, it's highly experiential with the horse. All of my work is actually on the ground. I don't do riding. And uh, I'm not a therapist, so I don't call myself an equine therapist. Um, But I'm a coach, and I've been a coach for several years now because I have a master's in spiritual psychology. And I really bring that to my work with the horses. That's great. Yeah, I mean, I I think it's so amazing how people, when they're around animals, sometimes they do relax, and it can help them be more in touch with their emotions and more authentic self. Exactly. Um, So how did you get interested in that? Yeah, I had one of those aha moments where a friend was telling me about the way her horses interacted in a session um, with my first mentor. And I said, there's no way the horses do that. And and she said, no, you have to go see it. And she was explaining how a horse comes up in a perfect moment and does a perfect move that mirrors or metaphors something going on in that client's life. Mm -hmm. And I just couldn't believe it. I said, well, that's synchronicity and serendipity, which so many of us believe doesn't happen that frequently. Or when it does, we get all excited about it. But it's just a natural occurrence in the horse world where they're able to just show up fully for a client to see things that maybe they didn't see before. Um, So that moment when she explained how this happened, I said, I have to witness this for myself. And I went into my first session with my mentor I was working with addicts in recovery up in Malibu, and I was hooked Hmm. Um, because I saw addicts go from being really um, miserable, not in their bodies, and very disconnected, wanting to give up on life, and transform in two hours. They had smiles on their face. They were more in their bodies. They had hope, and I, I was nothing really huge happened besides being outside of nature, being with these incredible horses, and having some um, great conversation dialogue and and questions and answers. And so I saw transformation happen like that over two years in my master's program, but this was happening in two hours. So I said, what is this? There's something here. And I've always been fascinated and um, I've dove deep into the world of personal growth for myself. And I had never seen something go as deep, as fast, and hit as many profound core issues as it did, um, really because the horse surfaces them. 
and then it takes a skill facilitator to to create the conversation um, about what's happening. So I fell in love and I couldn't stop. And so I apprenticed for a while, um, over a year, and then I started doing this professionally and working with for me, I found my sweet spot in really healthy individuals that are interested in going to the next level in any area of their life that may not be working that well, whether it's relationships or um, their health or their finances or career, and also with corporate groups who I found um, really need the time to slow down and to get off of the, um, the treadmill and to get outside the office and really reconnect with their core values, their mission, their why, and with each other. So there's greater synergy inside of an organization and also greater leadership because the horses really have an evolved system of leadership that I feel like if we all learn from, we would just be a better humanity and we'd, we'd have better corporations. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like it really can touch a whole wide variety of different people with different different things going on. What, yeah. What's it, what's the corporate groups? What have, what's it been like working with them and what sort of reactions have you seen um, working with the corporate group? Yeah. And being an ex corporate vice president at a movie studio, I was not sure how people would take this at first um, because it is very unique and it is something that people don't necessarily understand how it works right away. So I often say, just come experience it. I'll do a demonstration for corporate leaders to come have a um, connection with a horse so they can see how this will work for their employees. And they just love it. I mean, it's something that, you know, it's so often in our jobs, we wear a lot of masks. And what happens is that the masks gently and easily fall when we're with horses. And we can be more authentic. We can step into our power and we can really experience everyone for who they really are. So I found examples of employees that didn't necessarily talk about some of their hobbies um, at work, but they were able to right after a session with a horse because they felt like they could be more authentic. Wow. And then they wondered, why was I hiding this all <laughs> along? I should have been talking about this. And it created greater friendships amongst the employees. Um, and I've had sales executives come out who are so focused on the goal, and I've helped them to slow down and start to focus on how you build a relationship with whether it be a vendor or a client and or even just another employee and understand the value that the relationship brings that then the results um, often just generate themselves. That's great. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it would really kind of get corporate leaders out of their head and more like with their heart or their self or whatever. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, I've lived mostly from here to here most of my life because I valued intelligence because it was so important in my family. And yet when I have my spiritual psychology master's degree, like they really helped me to drop down. And I opened my heart and I, I experienced that, that beauty of living from my loving true nature but the horses have taken it like to a whole new level. And that's what I love about them because they, uh, animals in general, usually open our hearts. Um, everyone smiles. Everyone's happy as soon as they just get out of their car. And what I'm finding today is because we're so wired with so much technology, we need this return to nature to experience our own true nature so that we experience what it's like to live in our bodies, what it's like to live on earth, what it's like to have that connection again, that really deep um, feeling of being seen by another being, which is what the horses offer and which is what I offer as well as a coach. And so it's profound for a lot of people. Um, and they start to shed their old ways and they start to realize that like, this is just a, like living from this is a very limited existence. Yeah. I can imagine that would be really, um, rewarding and a profound process to be a part of. Um, and I've also heard that this can help veterans. So I'm wondering if you could maybe speak a little bit about how this might be able to help veterans, especially veterans with PTSD. 
Yeah, and I know I love that that is, you know, some of your work as well, and it's um, so meaningful to you. It is something that traditionally horses have been known to help um, children with autism, the disabled, and uh, veterans and with PTSD. And there, uh, I was actually in a film called Iron Will, which is about veterans' battle with PTSD, and I talked about the healing nature of horses. And what I found is that, especially with vets, they have, um, there's a lot of protective energy, as there should be. They've been through a lot. But the horses really help create a space where they can get very real. They can kind of drop into softness and know that their softness is actually a huge strength. Oh, that's and great. And so I... Isn't it? I mean, yeah. I've seen I've seen what can happen is that um, tears will surface, emotion will surface. But when it, what I found with a horse is that when emotion comes up around a horse, it clears at such a deep level that it doesn't stay with us anymore. So it's not just um, fear, anger for for the expression of it. It's for the expression to clear and to be complete with. So it's really deep. Um, you know, I just don't. I, I go a long time now without even needing to um, have negative emotions because I the horses just constantly keep me centered in that space of um, knowing everything's okay. And that's specifically actually what they do with vets because horses are prey animals, so they're always on guard when there's a potential predator or, or an issue where their life is at stake. But as soon as they, they notice it, they react or they respond, and then they immediately diffuse back to, I'm going to just go look for some grass and, and and eat and hang out. And so they don't hold on to it. Whereas humans hold on to grass. We reloop it. And so the horses really are a demonstration for people that we don't have to be so hyperactive and that we can create new strategies and ways of being um, that just start to feel better to us so that stress doesn't dominate our lives. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like definitely something that veterans would be able to benefit from. Um, any interesting reactions you've seen from veterans or just any of your clients' um, reactions or results you've seen from them? There's a lot. and <laughs> I bet. <laughs> you know, there's a couple that come in. Uh, one, you know, one is which is that the power of being in a healing space declaring intentions can create amazing results very quickly. So I had a client call in her life partner within a couple of days of a session with a horse, and she had been single for quite a while because she really stepped into being ready for commitment. She let go of fear of intimacy because she was able to get intimate with a horse and um, realize it's not so scary. And, and I've had uh, people come. I have one woman who came. She fell in love love with the pony that she worked with that day and, and she didn't even think she liked horses and then because of this deep love and this bond the next day she went meat free she, she just gave up eating meat because she said well all of meat is the same it's just like this horse why would I consume something that I, I deeply love and appreciate so there's been um, some big changes very very quick with people and I always say that the work integrates. So within a few days after a session, people will have new experiences. They'll have more aha moments come in. They'll start to see things shift and change in their life. So it is uh, often a work in progress, but always in a session, there are aha moments. There are deep realizations and awakenings and um, a lot of healing that I know that is happening on all, all levels. And so as the body goes into changing something, when they work with a horse, whether they're directing a horse to go somewhere, joining up with a horse and have a horse walk with them, they start to come into their bodies and the learning uh, really goes deep and integrates. So there's so many different things that have happened that we don't have enough time to talk about all of them, but I really work off someone's intention and meet them where they're at and what they most want to work with. And some people just want to learn how to get more centered and breathe and be more connected to their breath. And they get that. And because I do meditations with horses, 
Um, and some people want to go deep into their leadership over a journey and step into what the horse offers, which is the blended leadership energy of being soft and strong, being gentle and powerful, having the feminine and the masculine work together. So that's some of my favorite work. And that, that takes some time. It doesn't just necessarily happen in, in one session because we're, we're unlearning ways of being and stepping more powerfully into uh, a whole new humanity or uh, a new system. And, and for me, then hopefully a whole new earth. Yeah, I mean, that's wonderful to hear. And I mean, hearing you talk about this, I can tell this is just something that integrates throughout your whole life. And you even mentioned a movie you're part of. And I, I know you're also working on another film called Changing Horses, the film. And I'm wondering, yep. what's what's that movie about? And how did you get interested in that? Yeah, so my, my second mentor is making that film and it's a documentary about how horses change people so that people can change the world because fundamentally that's what the gift of the horse is the horse is here in my belief system to partner with us in whatever we choose a lot of people choose into horses as entertainment horses for control horses for human use and i choose into horse as partner spiritual teacher co-coach um, guru, I call my horse, my guru. And cause she's like spending, a, it's like spending a day with Yogananda in my, in my opinion. Um, and it's a, it's a film that really helps people shift their perspective on why horses are here and what we can do with them and how we can have more fun with them and how we can allow them to make a greater contribution in our lives. And I found it through the wonderful world of the web and on YouTube saw the trailer and I said, wow, this is someone that gets the new perspective that I was coming into. And I felt alone in for quite a while because I didn't realize that other people could see the horse this way. And so I was so glad to find her. I actually had uh, brought my rescue horse and lived at her rescue ranch um, for a while. And uh, it's a film that interviews some of the experts around um, the world really that are in this space that are helping to um, show humans what we can do with the horse because, again, I believe that they hold the keys to unlocking consciousness and to helping us move forward to be just better, better people and to step into what our purpose is. So, you know, a lot of people will come to work with me when they're either grieving or lost and the horses really help them receive clarity and get back on track and step into a, a deeper expression of their purpose. So they really are here to change us if we let them. Um, I don't believe I have anything to whisper to a horse, but I believe they have a lot to whisper to me. Oh, I like that. That's a good way to look at it. And um, I mean, we've covered a lot and I'm sure you could probably talk about this for hours as I can tell how passionate you are about this. Um, but, you know, is there anything else that you feel like would be important for our, um, viewers or, and listeners to hear or know? Yeah, I think I, the other thing is I'm working on getting my book out there, which is, uh, a lot of the stories that I witnessed of the addicts going through their rehab and recovery process and some of their awakenings and their moments of realizing, um, they want to recommit to living here, to being here on the planet and not giving up hope. And uh, that book hopefully will also be a great handbook for other coaches in the field where they can see some of the processes that uh, um, I've been trained into and that I use. And, you know, I just, I really would love for anyone watching to consider this. And if you can't be out in Los Angeles to work with me, look for a local practitioner, um, see if you can find someone that you resonate with, in terms of just experiencing this one, seeing if you like it, and then going deeper if you have uh, results that you that you get from this work. Because I personally can't really go into any other type of personal development right now that doesn't include um, some form of embodiment teaching or somatic piece because the body has to learn. We can't just process everything up here. 
Um, this is a tricky device. It's brilliant, but it's tricky. And so we have to pair that intelligence with the heart's intelligence, with the intuition and the gut's intelligence, with the body and that intelligence system and the horse helps us create the synergy between all of it so this is um uh, an ask for if this is inspiring to you to definitely consider you know looking into this um for yourself and you can certainly look me up on consciousrockstar.com and i also have a, a facebook group called equine rockstars where we share inspiring articles and videos about horses and I have a meetup group called Equine Rockstars as well, and that's where I post some of my workshops um, and corporate groups. I really I structure them based on what is needed in either a half day offsite, a full day, or a longer three or six month program. So I'm just grateful you had me, Matt, because uh, you know talking about the horses is something that I am passionate about, and I want I want the world to know that this is available for healing. And uh, as an additional type of coaching, uh, additional type of therapy work. And uh, I know your audience is really open to all of that as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I appreciate you uh, sharing your time and your thoughts on this. And also appreciate your uh, genuine passion about this. It's always nice to hear people speak about something they believe in. So that's, that's really refreshing to hear. Thank you. You know, what came in this morning when I woke up was that we really can take our deepest love and have a career with it. And our hobbies don't just have to stay as hobbies. I think there's a lot of belief systems out there about being a painter, being, um, you know, working in some field that feels like a hobby. You know, for me, it was horses my whole life. I've been with them since I was a kid. You know, how, uh, how could I ever make money doing that? Are we're all this unique, perfect snowflake system that is so different from everyone else? And I believe that the most important thing we can do is find out what our gifts are and contribute them. And it, it they are our gifts are always tied, I believe, to what we love deeply. So I hope that's just a little bit of encouragement um, that I can offer to people who are maybe searching for their purpose. Yeah, that's very well said and insightful and encouraging. So that seems like a good way to end our talk today. But did you have any other um, last bits of wisdom or thoughts you wanted to offer people? No, I just really appreciate what you're doing, Matt, with your own work in the therapy world and also um, with Beth and also just with Spiritual Media Blog mm -hmm. because it – you know, your idea to do Spiritual Meaning Bog is brilliant. It's so needed. You put so much good stuff out there for people. I'm so glad that it just continues to grow for you. Um, and I'm glad that we connected when I was, um, when we were working on Synergy TV Network, which is another resource for anyone watching, of hundreds of uplifting and inspiring videos that mirror the best of humanity. Yes. And so that's at SynergyTVNetwork.com. And it's really so aligned with your mission of what you've done of really showing the world that our entertainment can be more meaningful, more positive, more spiritually based. Um, so thank you for the work that you're doing in the world as well. Oh yeah, it's my pleasure. And definitely I echo everything you say about Synergy TV. It's a great uh, place for people to check out that too. Um, all right. Well, Kate, thank you so much for being here with us today. This was a great conversation with a, a lot of interesting and enjoyable topics for our listeners. Awesome. Thanks so much.